We're here in San Diego for this afternoon's matchup between the Eagles and the Chargers. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. And he's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking. The speed of the returner gets down the field. And after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. What a place to start for the offense. First and 10. Now makes the move to the right. And picks up maybe three or four. Well, this team is definitely committed to the run. There's no doubt about it. And when you're committed to the running game, hey, a lot of them are not going to work. That's okay. Stay with it. And here we have second down. Here's the quick toss. Has some space to work with. Now that's good enough for the first down, their first of the day. Nice job by the offense picking up that first down here to start the game, and that is important to give you a little confidence, to give you some rhythm, and most of all, just release some of that pressure you feel. The offense ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity from the red zone. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. The offense has done a good job. They're now down inside the 20, but here's where it gets tough because your plays are limited because the field has been shrunk. Here, a split backfield. Second down and 13. They beat him the ball again. A tackle behind the line. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. The defense gets the sack. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I, I, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's shown us he can get to the quarterback. This will take all the leg strength he can muster. Comes up short. And Jim, this guy is just Mr. Automatic. Not only did he make some, he usually just puts it right down the middle of the goalpost. Chargers get ready to start their drive. It's first down as they head to the line. Looking to that ball is going the other way. He's into the open. Eagles in for the score. What an interception by the defense. And not only that, look at that return. They intercept the ball on one side of the field, make a long interception return for a touchdown. That's how you win football games on the defensive side. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. Richard Goodman with a chance to return the kickoff. Well, there's nothing that time the kick returner could do. Terrible blocking up front. Nobody gets their job done, and that's why they have bad field position. Offense lines up here. The wide receiver in motion. First down and 10. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. That's 
Second down coming up. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Let's get a first down. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. First down here after the completion. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. Games 12. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. That big gainer on the ground gives them now a first down. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Tackle down at the 47. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. They bring in an extra defensive back. Second down and five. Catch the defense off balance. Draw play. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. It'll be third down from the gun. Going across the middle, they break through. Tackle up behind the line. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Wide open for the catch. These first downs add up. It's like body punches in a fight. You keep hitting guys to the body. They get tired. They give up. That's what's happening to this defense right now. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and ten. The quarterback throws to the right. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Well, it's another first down for the offense. And I'll tell you who the happiest guys are here in this stadium right now. It's the defensive players sitting over on the sideline, getting a drink of water, having a little oxygen, the fan blowing on them. It's okay, nice this time of day to be a defender. Now first and ten. He'll throw it over the middle, right where it had to be. Touchdown, and they cut into that lead. You never know with the talent of these guys nowadays. Little short passes, you think they're harmless, and look what happens. They got so much talent all the way down the field for the score. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. setting up the return. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. Offense lines up here. Fix looking long. Has the catch. And he's taken out of bounds. For so many years, we had all these rinky dink, dink and dunk quarterbacks. Now we got guys in there throwing it deep down the field. What a nice catch. What a really good deep throw. That reception gave them the first down. Play action fake and dropping back the throw. Ball's picked off. They've got him down there. Right, well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. 
First down coming up. Out of the shotgun formation. Throwing now to his left. Gains about three. This is what you call throwing the wide receiver over when he gets man-to-man -man coverage. Throw it to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. That pass play picked up only four. Second down and six coming up. Throws a strike. What a job by the offensive line, giving the quarterback all day long. When you get that kind of pass protection in this league, somebody sooner or later is going to come open. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. From the gun, trying to work the middle of the field. That catch gives them a first down. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. First down here. They'll go shotgun here. Good quarterback throws the pass. Defense has them wrapped up. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Out of the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Fights through that hit. San Diego in for the score. The Chargers getting set for the point after. Count it. And after that extra point, the Chargers are leading by seven. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. 